all right guys welcome back now in the previous video we have uh, seen a bit about the raml spec and how to import in the any point studio workspace okay cool now <clears throat> let's open this and let's try to understand a bit more on that okay now what's the url that what what we have right now so this is the url agreed this is the base url and uh, let me formulate that this is a one and then you have the create student information which is awesome and then you have retrieve student information which is also awesome okay <clears throat> now cool create and retrieve in the retrieve it's only get okay whereas in the create student it's post patch and put okay now that's okay there are, there are four three different methods in a similar way let's add delete information delete student information delete student information okay delete student information now here is the thing now in the delete obviously it's uh, you need to pass something okay a va value to delete the student id now you before proceeding further let's try to understand how the how we can pass the information now see in the retrieve information let's let's talk about retrieve information there are two concepts you guys remember query params and you are i params params okay so how do you pass query parameters if i take this okay retrieve information i'll pass something like this retrieve what retrieve student uh, id equal to say 10 okay and student name equal to manju okay these are two combination obviously what have, are we seeing here we are seeing student id and we are saying student name which are two parameters which is of type string and integer so let's do one thing let's try to define a query parameter here okay um okay right since we are defining the query parameter obviously we are not trying to post something we are trying to get remember we are trying to get something now see here how the indentation sorry how the helper would help us see if i press enter now you can see the query parameter is automatically getting populated now let get let's take this guy and put it over here remember the spacing or the indentation is very important guys click on this there you go the query parameter now what is the type of the query parameter i need student id okay this is of type we are defining student id okay colon enter now it clearly says that okay you have defined student id which is awesome awesome job bro what else you want to do do you want to define any type or do you want to define any description display name or do you want to add some constraint or parameters to it okay so see here what i'm going to do i'm first thing that i'm going to do obviously is that i'm going to add this description i'll say it's a student id student id uh, that's it student id and then if i want i'll say display name okay display name i'll keep it as student id description student id um, i'll say that uh, part of part of retrieve student information part of retrieve student information uh, student id will be passed in will be passed in query will be, will be passed as query parameter qp now you have defined the description and display name awesome next step then what type of what type it is the type the moment once you click on type you can see these many data types you have can you see this these many data types you have and how does the hierarchy work is something i want to explain to you in the next video not here you have any array boolean date okay sorry the date and then you have number string now in our case it's string we are taking we are going to take this as string okay so you are defining the variables just like how in uh, in programming you will write right string something like a string string uh, student id okay so you say string student id is equal to 
like this okay something like that now type is obviously control space will get string and there's another parameter which is also called as required see here required so i'll say required as true okay true okay which means this field is required so what all we learned we learned how to define first one we learned how to define the method awesome cool second we learned how to use this get put pa patch post uh, all of the http methods we learned how to use http methods now third we learned how to create a query parameter yeah fourth within the query parameter we understood how to define the query parameter and then we learned on a concept called as type and then we learned on a concept called as required that's good now our query parameter doesn't stop over here do you agree you have another query parameter to satisfy which is student name okay take this student name so again guys indentation spacing is very important okay so uh, i'm going to remove the description and display name okay uh, no let it be there why i should be removing it okay so description this is part of same part of information of student id this would be student name then display name i hope everyone are typing with uh, with me okay student name then type is string and then finally required as false i'll say false okay false one is true other one is false cool now we have understood how to define the retrieve student information which is good now the next thing is that delete okay let's talk about delete now um this is delete and this is the entire url sorry this is the entire url agreed now i want to delete the student information to delete the student information this time i will use uri parameters okay i'll be using uri parameter and how does a uri parameter look like we have seen this in http listener remember we used to pass something like this correct remember uri parameter guys do you remember this okay parameter okay now you can very well define like this there is no issue okay say for example you can very well define like this let me delete this and there you go let me delete this okay now see here it doesn't matter okay you have defined the uri parameter which is good but okay instead of this let's do one thing let's not define like this we'll say colon colon and in the colon what i'm going to do is that um i'll say get this guy below okay get this guy below here and then you need to put a slash now you see now just pay attention to this guy okay as i said this is automatically creating the um creating kind of a, you, you we have seen in data view right how the data sense works you can think of that a data sense raml data sense okay so if you can see this is how it's getting created now if i remove this and put it back over here see here okay uh, where did you go okay see here there you go did it make any difference to be honest here okay let's uh, try to club over this see it's slash delete slash uri parameter this is one stage now if i just get it down okay just pay attention to it so see here which means this remain the same there is no difference this remain the same only thing is that you can either apply get put patch to this delete student alone okay something like this i'll show you what i mean okay now see here if i can if i want i can add get see okay guys can you see this get okay post patch okay see you are getting the freedom now if i remove this okay and kind of do something like this now if i say get it's only limited to that particular your parameter so in terms of uh, reliability and all those uh, jargons i would 
I would just want to go with this format okay because in future if I want to add something I can always add something above here okay this is display name I will say that delete student come on student information yeah delete student information and description this is for uh, again I'll just use it as a delete student information it's just the same now <coughs> you are a parameter yeah we'll come will so what do you think do we need to add get put patch post okay obviously it's not get put patch post we are trying to just um, send the URI parameter so it's a part of a get operation I want to keep it as a get operation okay get operation that's it now we are done with this one part of the journey now okay the next thing that what I want to do in the next video is that I want to talk about certain examples okay examples okay and what that would be we'll be seeing in the next video until then take care and have a great learning okay let's not publish this we'll publish once the examples have been completed okay cool guys see you guys in the next video thank you